I think the course is brilliant in the fact that it really uh, fills the void and bridges knowledge between first year, uh, second year and third year. It really follows on from the first year Spanish field course and helps us build upon those identification skills, those project planning skills, group work skills. Um, and one of my main interests is actual field work. So it's brilliant to actually be doing something that I really enjoy, getting out all day, looking at organisms. One of the unique things about the module is that you are taken out of the sort of lecture environment where you're just taught at, uh, and you're put through a series of seminars from outside speakers. Um, and hands-on tutorials which are given by the lecturers. After all of that you're, you're able to take it and put it all together and go out into the field and um, use it to carry out your own survey um, and consolidate the knowledge which you've gained throughout the whole module allowing you to sort of work towards the idea of carrying out a phase one habitat survey. I mean the New Forest is an amazing habitat with all this wetland and heathland like deciduous woodland, broadleaf woodland, you've got everything and you can just do so much with it. Through the series of seminars and tutorials we, we really learned about the wider picture of management in the New Forest from the National Park Authorities and other agencies like that. So then when we came to the New Forest and did field, field work we could apply what we'd learned. We could think about the bigger picture rather than exactly just what we were looking at there, we could think of it in a much wider context. You go to forest and pretty much choose what you want to study whilst you're there. Do you look at how to identify spe uh, British species, so uh, bird species, butterflies, bees, which are really useful skills for um, to have because there aren't there aren't a lot of people who can who can do that. You, you always come across like different like sort of rare species as well. Like, I think we found like a few rare birds and things as well, which is quite nice to say that you that you've seen. The missile thrush was really cool. So I've never seen one before doing this. Um, and the long-tailed tits have seen a couple of days around. Um, and the robins, there's a robin just landed over there. The robins, I always love the robins. There's so many in the new forest. And they're such charismatic birds. Uh, working in a team in a survey situation, which is, which is kind of paralleled in ecological consultancy, sort of doing the projects as well. We were looking at nut hunts, looking at different types of um, hazelnuts to look for dormice presence which is an important protective species um, and also doing the field trips out is a whole big group and doing the, the habitat surveys. Being in the field has a better advantage to actually gaining more knowledge and better identification skills because you can actually see it there in front of you, you can take a closer look at it which is something you can't do in a textbook. You know you can have your magnifying glass, you can really get up close, take a proper look uh, and it just really reinforces learning because you remember, okay, I was in the New Forest, I saw this there, it has these features. It's just amazing that we can go to somewhere that's so close to the university, right on our doorstep, and see just this amazing range and diversity of different organisms. It's just amazing.